So this is the little town of Boyup Brook. I've always found navigating the streets in this town a bit of a mystery. <laughs> They're very strange, the street layout. It's, uh, it's quite a pretty little town in its own way. Uh, we had hoped that the visitor centre was going to be open, but uh, nope. Unfortunately not. So at the moment we're wondering where we're going to find a place where we can fill up our water tanks. This has to be one of the smallest halls we've ever seen anywhere. So there's McLarendon. Was the site of a tavern at one time, apparently. Reading the little plaque here. Very tiny for a hall. Goodness. Hardly any space to it at all. Interesting. Unfortunately, no information on uh, the hall itself, by the looks of it. There's no real indication of whether this is a publicly owned site or what the deal is with it. A couple of old dunnies still here. Probably not in use anymore. Although, relatively clean and tidy. But, uh, yeah, no, I suppose I'd fancy using them. <laughs> so we're just on our way up to Lake Kipwari, and this is uh, a hall that I knew was here and uh, intended to stop and have a look at, but uh, I really don't know anything about it at all. Well, it's been a bit of a drive this morning, but uh, we're almost there. We just pulled into the Lake Kapwari Road. Be interesting to see this place. I've seen a little bit of it on YouTube. 
but this is the first time we've got out here and had a look at it ourselves. I think it's probably been open for about a year or a bit more than that now. So uh, it's, uh, from all accounts, it's a pretty decent sort of campsite. Depot, of course, so usual depot rules for most things and uh, fees for overnight. But uh, no entry fee apparently, no uh, park entry fee, which is a good thing. Cuts the price back a little bit. They're certainly catering for a lot of people at Kepwari, even though there's only 21 campsites. The area over there is obviously for boat trailers. And uh, you've got day use parking along here. We're in the last campsite towards the day use area, which is campsite number 21. I picked it because it was a, a wide site. I uh, wouldn't have too much trouble backing into it. Fairly well set up boat ramp. You swing around, back it in, and then come up this side. So fairly well thought out as far as uh, launching is concerned. The only thing I haven't seen so far are any barbecue or shelters, but uh, I assume they've got them around here somewhere. Looks like the only picnic facilities are up this end. So we're yet to see that. We are currently about here. Uh, we're currently there. So yeah, we'll just wander across that path and see what the day use facilities are like. Well, they're certainly expecting a lot of boats to come here, my goodness. Look at the size of this car park. I can't imagine how uh, cluttered the lake would be if uh, enough boats were there to fill up this car park. <laughs> it's amazing. I think they may have gone just a little bit uh, overboard, to use a nautical <laughs> term, in uh, producing a car park for boats that's this big. My goodness. You'd certainly fit a few in here. Get all that lot out on the lake and you wouldn't have room to move. It does seem a bit strange to me, but uh, well. They're certainly not short on toilets here either. I've seen about five blocks of toilets <laughs> and there'd be more than that. And the interesting thing will be how far are the picnic facilities away from the day use parking? And I think this is the end of the day use parking down here. This is down past the boat ramp parking. So I think this would be the closest car park you could get to to get to what picnic facilities they've got here at the moment. The sides of the lake here are quite steep. And uh, from what I can tell, 
there doesn't seem to be any wheelchair access on any of these paths down to the water. Okay, so if you are disabled and in a wheelchair and you want to get to the picnic facilities, it looks like your only option is to get dropped off at the bottom of the boat ramp here. And uh, the same applies for getting to the beach. The only access to the water is also from there. Okay, here are some of the uh, picnic facilities by the looks of it. Let's go down and see what they've got. Very pleasant area, I've got to say. Nice little beach for people to uh, go and have a swim from. Decent size lake, but uh, as I say, if that car park was full of boats, you wouldn't have room to move out there. And the access to the water is definitely not wheelchair friendly. They've got disabled parking up there, but um, they don't seem to have thought about how they're going to get down to the water. <laughs> this looks more like a bar than a picnic table. Okay, so your barbecues are down here by the water, which is very nice, but uh, means you've got to cart everything down the hill from your car. Pretty nice view. So this is the second picnic area with barbecues and it's pretty much a mirror image of the first one. Uh, I'm not sure whether they're thinking about just large groups using this but uh, You'd better come down here with a lot of mates <laughs> and you better like anybody you're sharing the tables with because uh, again they haven't really thought this out. There's no spacing out, it's as if you're in one big group. So as pretty as this is and as flash as these facilities look, there are some design aspects that really have not been thought about very carefully. Okay, so the beach runs out as you've just come past the end of the island here. There is supposed to be more swimming beach up near the campsites, but you cannot get there by just walking along the edge of the lake. And despite the fact that some idiot has already defaced the sign over there, uh, you are not supposed to go on the island. So this is the beach by the campsites, at least the campsites at our end. I think that stretches far enough to get down to um, the break where I think the camp kitchen is. So we're just going to wander down there and have a look. Obviously uh, one design fits all at this site. All the uh, areas for barbecues and sitting are the same. <laughs> the only difference at this site is there are a few scattered tables unlike the ones at the day use area where there is great, one great long table so this is a somewhat better design and there's different groups of people to come and sit and it's obviously a very popular place for people to come because it is chockers tonight booked out which is the reason we are moving on.